Good morning, good morning, good morning, and ho, 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 Merry Christmas. Wow, December the 13th, 2021. Where did the year go? You like my hat? This thing is backwards, so. <laughs> well, gosh, it's been two weeks since I've seen you guys, and that's just too long. I can't, um, I forget about how to work everything if I wait two weeks. Good morning, Jackie. Cute hat. Thanks. Um, okay, so you see that? And you see that? Well, me and the dermatologist went round and round, and she won. So, I'm so sorry. It hurts. But it's getting better. So, uh, hope and pray that it comes back benign and I don't have to have any further to do with these little places on my face. So, yes, you're on time, Shirley. Hey, yes. Good, good, good. And good morning. I'm glad you're here. I'm reading comments. If I'm not looking at you, that's what I'm doing. So, I am Darla Morris. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in beautiful Granbury, Texas, and it is absolutely fabulous outside today, and I hope it continues so. Um, yeah, I've been gone for two weeks. It's too long. Absolutely it is. So, I'm back, and I don't know what next week looks like for me. Um think Jack may have a doctor's appointment on Monday. Is next Monday the 20th? If it is, he does. So I haven't checked out my calendar. I should have done that, but I didn't. This is, um, I'm looking at my notes because, dude, two weeks is a long time not to do this, and I forget. So, <laughs> Thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, goodness, you girls are sweet. I appreciate you very much. So, um, if you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator already, I would love to be your girl, and I would love to earn your business. I'm always generous with uh, orders that you place with me. You'll always get something in return. So, um, when you place an order, I always have a host code each month or each by month. So you want to be sure and use a host code to get your special presents from me. Now, when you come on today and you pop in, say hello. If this is your first time joining me, tell me where you're from. How did you find me? I want to see if my marketing director, which is uh, Shirley Taylor, She's my marketing director, along with a few of her friends. They work in conjunction to um, exploit me, which I really like. I like to be exploited. Maybe that's not a good word. Hmm. What's a good word for that? But I like it anyway. So, thank you to Shirley and her team. Always appreciate it. And thank you for sharing, Shirley. You are busy working already. Yes, you are. <laughs> okay, so like I say, when you pop on today, say hey hello. Say say hello. And again, thank you. Thank you. Um, with each comment that you make, your name gets put on what I call my little wheel of fortune. Now, my little wheel of fortune is... Uh, a little spinning thing, and I'll show you when I turn the camera down, but your name will get put on this wheel, and you will have a chance to win the two projects that we're making today. So, yeah, make a comment. When you share, and you do have to tell me when you share, otherwise, I don't know. It's not my fault. It's Facebook, okay? I take no credit for that. But you have to tell me when you share, and when you do, your name gets put on my Wheel of Fortune twice. Plus, 
at the beginning of each month, I make a special little wheel for those that have just shared my video. And they have a chance to win something that I pick throughout the month. Now, this, let's see, this is the first time I've been on in December. Can you believe that? And it's already the 13th. Well, I've been busy. I've been gone. My husband's been ill. So, yeah, it's been crazy around here. But if you shared my video any time in the month of November, you may have a chance, you will have a chance to win these beautiful brand new gems. They are called garden gems. They're going to be in the new catalog. Or are they? Hmm. Somebody will have to tell me. Are they going to be in the new catalog or was this just the early promotion? Can't remember. Anyway, somebody's going to win those today. Now, I'm going to... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I want to tell you, I have two extra... I made... Okay, so I made two extra packages for my fancy fold online class that is coming up very soon if you are the, if you are I can't talk today I need more coffee hold on there that should fix it so if you are at all interested in taking my online fancy full class, you may do so. I have two packets I made extra just in case somebody was slow to respond. What's that no for, Shirley? Hi, Oma. It's not a replay, honey. Oma, you are live. Oh, are you telling me that they're not in the new catalog? They were... Hmm. Thank you, Wendy, and welcome. You're killing it, girl. I'm proud of you. Okay, so back to my online Fancy Folk class. So you do have a chance to sign up for it. It's $40. You were going to make eight different Fancy Folk cards. <clears throat> Let me look at my notes and make sure I don't forget something. You're going to get um, everything that you need to make these eight fancy fold cards. I'm going to cut, die cut, emboss. I'm going to do everything but stamp. And I will tell you that on one of them, I did stamp a bunch of different um, objects and then I cut them out on my brother's scan and cut. Oh, I love that machine. Oh my gosh, I love that machine. I'm so distracted today. So, you're going to get everything except stamping for the most part. You will get a, uh, a PDF with instructions and measurements. Um, you're going to get a little extra packet of goodies from me. They're mostly embellishments. You... Okay, I think that's it. Plus, I have set up a private Facebook page that on December the 18th I will go live and make all eight of these cards and help you and show you because I'm probably going to make mistakes <laughs> so you'll see what not to do if you know what I mean but um, on that private Facebook page which you would be invited to join you can watch any time you want, as many times as you want, for as long as you want. You're going to get all of that for $40. Um, and I think that's it. Paper pumpkin. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to get this month's paper pumpkin. And then next month's paper pumpkin, which you've got until the 10th of January to order. Looks so cute. It looks really, really cute. 
And I will tell you that I paused my paper pumpkin for a couple of months and I have regretted it. I, it's like, why do you do this? Get the darn paper pumpkin. They are cute. They've really been killing it. So anyway, um, the next one looks really cute and I can't wait. And you want to get the add-on to that for sure. Okay, where am I? And um, don't forget that probably tomorrow this video will be uploaded to YouTube. And, oh, this thing is itching my head. Um, to YouTube, so be sure and go to YouTube. Like, subscribe, comment, whatever you do for YouTube. I would appreciate it. So I am going to turn the camera down and get my funky face off of here. Look at that. I look bad. Anyway, love y'all. Let's turn this camera down and see what we got going over here. Okay, so the last time that I was with you was, of course, November, and we made these two cards. Aren't they beautiful? They really are. And this one would make a great shaker card. Well, this one would too, as a matter of fact. But yes, they are quite lovely. So we are going, oh wait, oh wait, look at this. Oh, oh yum. That's the best breakfast in the whole wide world. Okay, we're going to spin to see who wins this. So let's go. Keep your fingers crossed. Who is it? Who is it? Oh, Stella! Wonderful! Good job, Stella! She did make a lot of comments, y'all. Okay, Stella's going to get these lovely cards. And I'm going to the post office today, so she will get them right away, and she could be able to send those out. All right, let's go back. We've got to listen to a little commercial and then we're going to spin to see who wins these because they you shared the video in the month of february uh november february where does february I, that's the second time i've done that okay let's go here so these are all the people that have shared my video in the month of november and they told me they shared it Totally um, on our plan here. So we're going to see who wins these. So good luck, people. Good luck. And I appreciate every single one of you guys that shared this video because you are totally awesome. Terry Todd. Woohoo. She's been a, she's kind of been on a roll here lately. She's a, I think she won last last time I was on, so she'll be coming around in a day or so to pick up her fancy full packages, so congratulations, everybody. Okay, we're going to put that up. Now, let me see. I'm not, my comments are not scrolling, I don't think. I'm not quite sure. Of course, when I came on today, the um, Streamlabs updated, so could be that things are a little different, if you know what I mean. Okay, let's see what our first card today is going to look like. First of all, I am using some paper from the Harvest Meadows Designer Series paper. This is absolutely beautiful paper. I'm sure you've all seen it. We're going to be using the blue today. We are going to be using Misty Moonlight, which coordinates with it very well. We are going to be using our Basic Borders dies. Basic Borders, and I think I'm using this one, I think. Or... Tell me which one you want to use. I don't care. I'm, I'm flexible. And we're using Nature's Harvest stamp set. Actually not. We're just using the dies. And I have already cut out this, 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 this. 
because y'all don't need to watch me die cut stuff if you don't have to. And maybe we'll be using some of these, okay? Maybe, y'all have to tell me. Oh, before we get started, let me show you how to find me. Would that be okay? Okay, this is how you find me. Lazy Daisy Stampers with an S dot stampin' up dot net. There is no G in stampin' up. This is my current host code. Don't you, I am so professional looking. Hello, Terry, you won. Yes, you did. You won for the month of November uh, to share. <laughs> Thank you, Oma. Okay, my host code is 3DRWXV6Y. Any order you place over $50 using this host code, you will get special gifts from me. And this is my online store. This is where you can go and shop to your little heart's content. And you know, um, you can, um, if you have a big old wish list, you know you can give it to your husband or you can even give it to me and then tell me who to contact and I can contact them and say, hey, Terry wants this for Christmas. And then they can get it ordered for you through me. Ah, what a brilliant idea. Then you get what you want. Okay, and I'm also using Misty Moonlight ink. Now here's our card. It's very simple, <clears throat> but it's cute. Just kind of, kind of plain. Well, it's really not. The paper does a lot of work for us. And of course, you just cut these out and bam, you're done. So I have started with a white card base. Let's move some of this out of the way. I know I'm gonna need this and this. I don't need my papers because I'm already cut. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a great idea. All right, now. I have used on this card, this card here, I've used this one. If y'all would rather see using this one or this one, let me know if you want to use the round or the mountain. Let's just say that. If you want to not use this, use round or mountain, let me know because I will start getting this ready to put together, okay? So what I did is, of course, this is my standard card base, which is half of a sheet of eight and a half by 11. It's cut in half, and then it's scored in half. Standard stuff. Now, this is cut at, oh, I cut this at three and a half. It doesn't have to be that big. Uh, I was probably wasteful, but it just depends on how big you want this. I mean, this could go over and just show a little bit. This could go over here and show a lot. You know, just however you feel. So I guess I am going to have to, okay, I don't see any comments. I don't know if y'all are commenting and I'm just not seeing them, but I'm going to just stick with um, the one that I use because I, I think that's pretty. It's a little different. Yeah, let's just do it. What the heck? I am going to have to bring this out. This is my Stampin' Cut Embossing Machine, which is lovely. Now, I'm going to just kind of Space this out. I'm just trying to judge my my both of my tip ends just to kind of keep them straight or you know even ish. Thanks, Terry. So I'm gonna put that in and then run it through. Okay, 
hopefully I don't need I don't need that anymore but who knows I might all right I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna attach this down y'all got all your Christmas shopping done I'm telling you, you know, we made that trip out to Utah here at the first of the, well, actually, we left the Sunday after Thanksgiving, and, um, of course, Jack had just had um, a back, I think they call it ablation, it's where they go in and kill the nerve, um, because he's had some really severe back issues here recently. And he had that done, oh gosh, about a week, the Monday prior to Thanksgiving. So we leave Sunday after Thanksgiving. Well, which we were just dummies. Why did we do that? We was driving to Utah. We wanted to make a trip out to see the kids. I don't think that's quite even I don't think I did a very good job well I think that's pretty darn good I like that I'm gonna do it I'm going for it so anyway we're driving out to Utah Utah because we were gonna go see his two two of his girls one's in uh, Ogden one's in San Diego well it took us three days to get to Ogden First day, I drove all the way to Albuquerque, which was about, I don't know, 11 hours or so. <sighs> Good to get, well, I'm waiting on Amazon, Terry, to uh, finish up my Christmas shopping, though. Hopefully, they'll come through in time. You know, these days of Amazon getting it the next day or so, those days could be gone here very shortly with this supply chain business terrible situation. Anyway, I don't know where I was, but we finally got to Utah and it just about killed both of us because I do the driving anymore. Especially when Jack's on drugs, <laughs> more or less, you know what I mean. Um, So I was exhausted. He was exhausted because his back. So it took us a few days to acclimate and kind of recoup from the drive. But we had an absolutely lovely time. Mark and Tracy had just moved into their brand new house and oh my word. Talk about gorgeous. Oh my gosh. So we had a good time visiting them. And then Jack developed a UTI. So we had to make a trip to the urgent care after hours business. Then we decided there's just no way we can drive from here on to San Diego, and then get home. So we canceled San Diego, gave him a couple of days to recoup, let the, let the medicines kick in so that he could travel. We just came back home and, you know, Getting old, that's a hard pill to swallow sometimes, isn't it? I know some of you out there can agree with me. Some of you out there don't have a clue, but trust me, enjoy your health while you can. It's not always going to be there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just gluing these down. Um... Kind of, sort of. Now, I'm going to pop this one up with dimensionals. If I can find them. Here they are. 
I want the bigger ones for this. You could use the little ones. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't know. For some reason, I think the bigger ones stand up taller. But this is too big. I'm going to have to cut this down. So we get home, and I it takes me about two pajama days to recover. Hi, Donna. Welcome. Good morning. Okay, so this one's popped up. I'll take that off. Did I already do that one? No, I didn't. And while I was gone, of course I had ordered a ton of Christmas things to be delivered, not even thinking about it about me not being here. But luckily I have a very dear friend, God bless his heart, he came to my house every day to pick up my packages from Amazon and wherever and put them in the garage for me. When I came home and I saw that garage, there was so many packages, I was so ashamed of myself. Thank God for good friends, that's all I can say. Okay, so this, I don't normally cut these out. I would normally would stamp and then cut them out. Because um, I'm just not that good, if you know what I mean. But I'm going to give this a shot, okay? So y'all, please keep your fingers crossed for me. I don't want to have to do another one of these. Straight down, hold. Hold your breath. Oh, well, that's pretty good. It's a little, just a, a fraction crooked, but yay. Woo and I don't really know where I was with my story, but we did make it back home. He, his um, UTI is much better practically gone, but his back is not good at all. Okay, so I'm just going to, you know, I popped this up on dimensionals, and I avoided putting a dimensional in this area. So, just to make sure, here's my two dimensionals. I'm going to put my finger there, and there you go. Bam! Bam! Are we done? Oh my gosh, we are. I didn't put anything in the in the inside, so y'all can do that when you win it. And then I've got these extras. And I just put my extras in my stamp set so that I'll have some when I go make another one. Okay, there we go. First card. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you, Terry. That's fun, and it's pretty. But this paper is really lovely. And you could put any of the dies. You didn't have to use the ones that I did, but... Anywho, there we go. First card down. All right. So, you know, back, uh, back in, um, what was it? Was it November with a seasonal sale? I got these dies on sale. I had been wanting these, and I just hadn't gotten around to using them, okay? These are called Picture This dies, and I like them. I'm going to get these out of the way because we're done with those. Now, I'm using that. I'm also using this which is called Stitched Greenery Dye. Now, I know that you probably don't have this, and it is not in my description of this video. Well, it is, but there's no link, because this is in the new catalog that's going live on January 4. 
Lady Bug. Ah! Do you love that or what? Oh, so cute. Thank you, Terry. I love the flower, wildflowers, too. All right, so I'm going to get my stamps out. And look, it's a bundle. It comes with a punch. Let me see if I can get a glare not on it. There we go. So cute, people. So cute. Okay, I think I, I mounted almost all of the stamps. I'm not quite sure why I did that, but I obviously thought it was necessary. Okay, what I have done, this die right here, which is one, one die. This one is one die, okay? Cute. What I did is I cut this out. Now this is my first layer and our first layer measures four by five and a quarter. I put this on there and I cut it out. Then I ran it through the uh, stitched greenery and this is what you get. Isn't that pretty? I think it's lovely. Standard card base. Oh, this is what our card looks like. Now, I will tell you, I made this card up all by myself. You know, I always tell you that I uh, case, which is copy and share everything, or I copied somebody else's cards, and I try to make modifications, but not all the time. But I did this one all by myself. I mean, it's not great, but it's pretty good. It's pretty cute. This one I did not emboss, but it needed something more in my opinion. So I embossed this one. So we're gonna, we're going with this. And I, um, let me see, I'm using my, um, what are these called? What are these called? They are called foam adhesive strips. I love them. I really do. So I'm going to put these on the back side. Uh, and you know, this would be so easy to make a shaker card out of. I'm not making a shaker card today, but it would be so easy to do that. And I'm putting this just right there just to give it a little stability. Am I in frame? I forget to look sometimes. Sorry, y'all. Okay, so there you go. That's, that's like that. Now, what I did is I took a pencil and very lightly just kind of so I have a guideline uh, this is very, very light, and I'm sure that you probably can't see it. Well, maybe there's a little bit, but, you know, it just kind of lets me know where I'm going to stamp because I'm going to stamp him, this, and this. This is popped up. All right. Now, let me get my... Momento. Now I just re-inked this and I hope, gosh, I hope I don't muck it up if you know what I mean. Oh, that's looking pretty good, I think. Yes, it is. 
Okay, so I want him down here, kind of on this edge. That ought to, I hope that'll get it. good. I'm not going to close that up yet, but I'm going to take this with my real red and with these polymer stamps, it is so easy to see where you're stamping Aha! Cuteness. Okay, I've got him. Now, while I've got the red out, I'm going to stamp. You can bug me anytime. Isn't that the cutest thing? I love it. That's a very pretty. Did you, you did it. Oh, thank you, Terry. Okay. I got that and I got that. So I'm hoping I should have. Okay, right there. I'm just kind of looking to see where to put this little. You can bug me anytime. Cute. Okay, now I need a scrap. Oh, by the way, when you use this to cut out this, Look at these fabulous, these are beautiful little sentiment strips that you can use. How about that? That's pretty cool just by itself, isn't it? I love that. All right, um, my flower. I think I'm done. No, I'm not done with the red yet, but I'm going to bring out my Mango Melody and stamp my flower up here. And I think this needs to be re-inked. Are y'all finding that you need to re-ink your stuff? It seems like I just re-inked and it needs it again. So it doesn't have to be all exactly, because I want to save room for uh, my little ladybug over here to the other corner. Yeah, see, I would like that to be darker, but not okay I don't want that one I want the center and the black I haven't got that centered yet I've done it twice and I I haven't got a center on it yet <laughs> okay scrap piece of paper we're going to set that aside i need i'm going to pull out a scrap and it doesn't matter just big enough for a little ladybug that's all we need i think i'll just tear that off all right ladybug this one the solid one Oh, I'm off screen. You can't see me. Ah! Oh, good one. Good, good, good. Solid black. Oh, get out of the ink. I'm done with the black. I do believe. I'm going to put that away. Now I'm going to... Oh no, I needed it for one more thing. Shoot. Right here. That kind of globbed up. Let me make sure. Mm hmm. Okay. 
my friend. Oh, that was a good one. Good, good, good. I'm getting pretty good at this stuff, y'all. Crying a crazy. All right, what? I don't, okay, that goes with that. Now, where's my little wings? Where'd they go? Ha. Ah. In red. Now, I did look at the orientation of, it does help if you look at your punch, so I want to kind of stamp it, I don't, you know, kind of want to match it to this. Looking good, looking good. Okay, I'm going to put the red up. Need this out. Okay, we're going to punch these out with the punch. Um, see, I didn't do a good job with my ladybug. I didn't orient her very well according to my punch layout. Oops, this way. All right, let's give this a shot. Okay, I'm going to have to cut that down. That's what happens when you don't pay attention. Things don't kind of work out like you want them. Okay, there we go. It's going to be close. It's a little bit off, but I can live with that. All right, hopefully I did better with my wings. I did, looky here. Now that was a good one. Good, good, good. All right, and then she's just so easy to put together. Because it just it's just perfect. It just sits right up there. Right there. See, it just fits right under her head. So cute. Oh, so cute. All right. Let's. Where? Okay, here we go. All right. I'm going to erase. If I can find my eraser these pencil lines even though they're light I do not want to see any of them Ooh. okay all right good good and I just took this little three little dots just to kind of fill up some space And kind of pull the colors in. I'll muck that up. That was not a good stamp. All right, I'm going to peel these off. I'm not done with that red, uh, yellow. So the only bad thing about adhesive strips um dimensionals whatever um there's no wiggle room and i like wiggle room oops i already got that one off okay got them all off so i'm gonna hold this down and hover, hover, hover. I'm just looking at my margins. Ah! It touched before I was ready for it to touch. But that's, that's good. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Now, since I've got this down, now I'm going to put my little dots. I'm going to try to do a better job stamping my dots this time. Right over here. 
and I'm just kind of filling up the space. That's all I'm going to do. Now for my ladybug, I'm going to put a dimensional on her head. I'm going to use a bigger one. And then just glue. Glue on her butt. And you just want to make sure that she doesn't extend outside your card area. There you go. We got to use the ladybugs. I got to use my new picture this frames. And of course, I love using this leaf stitchery thing. All right. Oh my gosh, we're done. Did that go by fast or was it, was it just me? I don't know. Okay, here are our two projects today. I sure do hope you liked them. I sure do. Uh, let's see. I'm, uh, I'm iffy for next Monday, but I'll let you know. Let's see. I heard a trick of putting a dot of glue on your adhesive dot. Yes. Yes. I have seen that before. That's a good good tip. Thank you, Terry. Okay, guys. Well, y'all have a great week. Oh, wait a minute. Let me look at you. I want to see your faces. Hi. So, y'all have a great week. Uh, be sure and make comments. You can uh, watch replay and make comments, and it counts towards your Wheel of Fortune. Mm. You can share. Um... You can look at my YouTube tomorrow. Let's see, what else? Hmm. Don't forget, if you want to sign up for my two extra packets of my online fancy full class, it's available. By the way, any of you out there watching this video that have already signed up, packets are ready and available to be picked up. I don't know what else to tell you. If I don't see you next week, Merry Christmas. I'm hoping to see you real soon, okay? You guys take care. Have a great day. Have a wonderful week. And love those that are around you. It's all I can say. We're not promised tomorrow. All right. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Now where's my button to turn y'all off? <laughs> Oh, Lordy, I've got it covered up. Bye.